Live for nothing, or die for something. And he uses it in most of his normal attacks. And you can see even there with his uppercut. I would say one thing that really stands out is his mid attack. I think they're pretty good. They're pretty quick. It's he's a close quarter character because you know it's not like a sword or a machete or whatever. But I think the speed makes up for it. And this one's fun because he literally uses a rock to put stuff up, <laughs> which amuses me. Well, it's a crushing blow. Then he has this throw, and it has a crushing blow with a really unique uh, condition. It's loaded if he has not. So first up he uses his bow. It's a really fast high projectile and the cool thing is it's almost like a stance. He can fire multiple up to three. He can let it go. He can just hang on it, wait a second, then shoot one. And none of that costs stamina, either defensive or offensive. Then he has this tripwire which I think is like the crux of his space control. It's really fast. He has a close and far version as a slide. And this slide has a couple options. You can do it from really far by holding forward. You can actually roll backwards by holding back after, even on block, to make it hard to punish. It is an ancient fight that does more damage. With a... As we know, as Troutman explains, he's trained to eat stuff that make a billy goat puke. And in the game, we show that by an insect crawls by and he actually eats it and it goes back. And if his fatal blow is on cooldown, it's a crushing blow of the bug, which gives them hella energy back. The downside to this is, is if he eats too many, he then vomits and he's stunned. So the first thing is he gets his tripwire. And this is different than the other one. It sets up a combo, he amplifies it. There's no closer far, it just it knows where the opponent is. Pretty quick. And this is one of the main ways to get big combos with Rambo if you choose to use this. The second thing is the crawl, which I absolutely love. This is essentially a low stance. He has numerous moves from it. He has this quick slide. Then he has a grab. This is actually like a, a grab. If they're blocking, it'll hit them. And then he has a parry. And the parry's neat because it parries lows, mids, and highs. So if he's down in a the opponent tries to hit him out of it, he can actually parry it. And then the parry and the throw have a crushing blow. So variation two, he can pull an M60 that he hid in the leaves out of the ground. And this is a very fast projectile. It's like a stream of bullets. And he also gets the Claymore mine. And what's fun about this is once it's triggered, it can blow up either, opponent, or either person, be it him or the opponent. He can put it down and it lasts for quite a long time. And if he amplifies it, he puts leaves over it so it's invisible. So there's fun stuff you can do. You can put it down, let it sit there for a while, do your little setup, and then just when they forget about it, they get popped out. And then lastly, his uh, tripwires replace stations. So this one is like a grab version. He gets a couple of the strings that get grab under us. And they are actual grabs, like if you're blocking you get hit. And then this one is a hit, but it is like a restand. So you can end your combo with it, and you'll be standing and he gets advantage. It also just looks really, really nasty. Then he gets a command grab. The cool thing is when he amplifies it, you can choose which way to throw you. And it has a crushing blow. I unfortunately forgot what I was setting up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the combat roll. So this replaces the fly. And it's almost sort of like Reptile's Elbow from Ultimate MK3. Uh, he goes past you, and then he has a couple of different options. You can do this quick slide.